after being shaken by the worst cost of living crisis in a generation, economic uncertainty and rising borrowing costs, the British housing market faces new obstacles. The pressure is mounting rapidly as a result of a recent increase in mortgage rates and a rush by lenders, including HSBC Holdings PLC and Banco Santander SA, to pull products as bond yields reach levels not seen since 2008, when the financial crisis began. This prepares borrowers and home buyers for a tense summer in which interest rates continue to rise, loans become more expensive and good deals become scarcer. And the greatest concern is that the current downturn will accelerate as the pressure intensifies. Economists anticipate a decline in home values of close to 10% from peak to trough. And the scariest part is that market isn't even halfway there. Two-year mortgage rates are close to 6%, which is above the tipping point for housing, according to Richard Donnell, executive director of property portal Zoopla. And next week, inflation data and a Bank of England policy decision could exacerbate the market's damage and pave the way for further price declines. A faster-than-anticipated increase in prices would increase the likelihood that the Bank of England will have to tighten monetary policy even further than previously anticipated. And this would have enormous effects on the British real estate market, where mortgage approvals are already near their lowest level since the global financial crisis. Since the pandemic, there has been a decline in the number of UK mortgage approvals. Back then, the story was different. In 2020, demand surged as a result of a reduction in government's home buying tax. In recent months, property surveyors have become less pessimistic about house prices and the future of the market, resulting in a rise optimism within the industry. This week, however, concerns regained the upper hand. Centender halted certain mortgage deals for new borrowers on Monday while NatWest Group PLC raised prices. The average two-year fixed-rate mortgage in the United Kingdom increased to 5.9% according to Money Facts Group PLC. This is the highest level since December when rates were easing back after a poor government budget caused a market crash. Moreover, Tuesday's faster-than- an anticipated wage growth prompted traders to increase their wages on future Bank of England rate hikes. The central bank has already increased its benchmark interest rates by 440 base points to 4.5%. An additional 25 basis points at the June 22 decision is expected. But that is unlikely to be the final increase. The current market pricing indicated the rate would increase 5.75% this year, with a chance of reaching 6% by early 2024. With so much of the UK's consumer wealth invested in real estate, market fluctuations can have repercussions throughout the economy. The property ladder is a national obsession in the United Kingdom, and a slowdown can quickly reignite fears of a repeat of previous crashes. Andrew Griffith, Minister of the Treasury for the United Kingdom, told Parliament on Tuesday that the government recognises the anxiety people have about mortgages and is doing what it can do to assist. According to Donald of Zoopla, higher inflation, expectations of higher interest rates and a subsequent increase in mortgage rates will continue to stifle buyer demand. The longer interest rates remain above 5% and near 6%, the greater is the likelihood of double-digit price declines. Last month's figure shocked investors and this month's will clarify whether that was a blip or the beginning of a more worrisome trend, especially in terms of underlying prices. Nationwide Building Society data indicates that prices have decreased by nearly 5% since their peak in August last year, cooling a red-hot market after a government tax cut fueled demand during the pandemic. However, even a 10% decline would only partially wipe out the gains made since the government stimulus program was implemented in the summer of 2020. Price declines in the United Kingdom have been relatively moderate thus far, but the market's direction is evident. Approximately 1,300,000 borrowers will need to renew their fixed rate agreements between April and the end of 2023. This implies that housing pressure will intensify, although it may not cause widespread household distress. Long-standing structural issues, especially a lack of housing supply, suggest that there will likely be a limit to how low prices can go. In addition, the unemployment rate is below 4% and the labor market remains tight, limiting the number of forced sellers due to job losses. According to Philip Shaw, chief economist at 
Investec Bank, potential sellers will not voluntarily accept unsatisfactory prices, so sales volumes may bear the burden rather than prices. He explains, households will say, oh, my home is worth more than that. I'm not selling it for that. So if I can't move, I won't. As a result of a stricter lending regime enacted in the wake of the 2008 financial crisis, a greater number of borrowers will have been subjected to stress tests and may be able to handle the costs of more expensive loans. Grain Gilmore, director of research at property consultant Clutton's, says borrowers have had to prove that they could afford large rises in mortgage rates. Their lender has already checked they could afford a 3% rise in interest rates.